conquest to report tonight, the last frontier on Earth, the bottom of the world, nearly seven miles straight down to the bottom of the ocean. Five people have died trying to get there. One expedition made it back, but saw nothing. Today, the filmmaker James Cameron, who's given us so many oceanic worlds in movies, set out in a body-binding capsule alone. He did it. What did he see? Here's ABC Stan Harris. James Cameron, the director of Titanic and Avatar, now starring in a real-life action adventure. Overnight, he hopped into this 24-foot right, submarine he's been secretly developing for seven years. Above all, have fun. Then he rode that submarine into the inky black, icy depths of the Pacific. Scientists have discovered amazing creatures in the deep recesses, but nobody knew what lived where Cameron was heading. Well, you know, Jacques Cousteau always used to say, if we knew what was there, we wouldn't have to go. In a two and a half hour trip, he went deeper than the last glimmers of sunlight, deeper than the Titanic's final resting place, that's only halfway there, deeper than Mount Everest turned upside down, nearly seven miles down to the bottom. This will give you a graphic sense of how much pressure Cameron's sub was under down there. Imagine having the weight of three SUVs on your thumb. Now imagine having that much weight on every inch of your body. It was so intense that the submarine actually shrank while he was down there. And this is what Cameron saw, a maritime moonscape. He thought he'd find life, but there was barely any. He was supposed to spend six hours collecting video and biological samples, but after three hours, a serious problem, an oil leak. He resurfaced, making the whole trip in only 70 minutes. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Outstanding. Dude, it was bleak. It was like the moon. And thinking, man, this is a long way down. And he says this is just the beginning. He is going back. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.